Welcome back to the More Than Gardening YouTube channel. I am Sam and in today's video, I am planting out my onions. Now, if you've been following along on Instagram, you'll know that I started these from seed at the end of January. And for context, I'm in zone 6A and we're about four weeks before last frost. So this is a perfect time to get them into the garden. I have a tray of yellow onions here and then I have a tray of red onions here. It's a beautiful day, it's 73 and sunny, but we had a ton of wind this morning and they've been sitting out here all day. So that's why they look a little bit crazy, but I think as soon as I get them in the bed, get them watered, they're gonna perk right up. This raised bed is already filled with a nice mix of soil and compost, but to prep it to plant the onions, I wanna put in some fertilizer and water that in and I'll till that fertilizer in about six to 12 inches. So I'm gonna move my onions off to the side and I'm gonna get my fertilizer and get going on prepping this bed. I'm just using an organic natural fertilizer. This one's fine for onions and whatever one you get, just follow the instructions on the back of the bag. This one calls for four and a half cups for this area of raised bed. I will link this down below in the description. So you can see it's a little windy, but I'm just gonna sprinkle this in and then I will get my rake and till it in. This is all tilled up and the fertilizer is mixed in. So I'm just gonna get up a little bit of water just to set it. I'm only gonna do a little bit because after I put my onions in here, I'm gonna take the hose out and fully water it. This is just a little bit to get everything I tilled up to settle. I'm gonna start my first row six inches in, six inches in, which is gonna be right here. And then I'm gonna go every six inches across the bed, and then I will separate my rows by about 10 to 12 inches. So first onion going in, start with my yellow, and I'm just gonna pop it out of its seed tray. <laughs> it's in very dry soil, so it's crumbling very easily, but you can see those nice healthy roots. And I'm just going to put it about a half an inch deep. You don't wanna plant these onion transplants too deep because they need to be near the surface to bulb properly. So I'm just gonna fill that in, move this. And it's good, first onion is in. And I'll just keep going down. Another six inches, my little hole. Oh, need to make sure the roots have room. And in, and we go. I have way more seed started, starts or onion seedlings than I have room for. So I'm just going through and I'm picking the strongest ones to plant. And I know they're the strongest based on how thick the stalk is, how thick these leaves are. This one's got three really thick leaves. So this one would be a better option than say like 
this one in here. This one has two, that's why they're not growing as good. But like this one, I probably won't plant out. I probably tend to plant out thicker ones like this. So let's pull this one really easily. Nice white healthy roots at 36 inches. Dig my hole and get it in there. And I'll just keep going the rest of the way of the bed. So I have my first row of onions in. Now I'm figuring out where my second row is. I'm gonna go about 10-ish inches over and then to speed it up to have my holes every six inches. You can use a shovel, you can use anything. I'm taking this old T-post that I found in my shed and I'm just gonna start marking little holes every six inches. 30. And then that way, all my holes are done and I can just quickly grab my onions and place them. Nice and straight-ish. Some of this excess. Um, 24, 18. And these are bulbing onions. They're a mix. Some of them, half of them are long day. Some of them are intermediate day. I can leave a link below to the exact ones I got. They're from Botanical Interest. And I don't think I said it in the beginning of this video, but this is my first time growing onions from seed. So this is what I'm doing based on the research that I've done, what the seed packet is telling me, and just what I think is right just based on my other gardening experience. But this by no means is a perfect tutorial of doing onions. This is just a video of how I am doing it, and hopefully it works. <laughs> okay, it's my last hole. As you can see I have them all the way across, and now I can just pop my onions out with the seed the seed cells and just drop them in. It's gonna go by a lot faster. And because these are little seedlings, they're already established of where they want it to be in terms of depth. I'm just mimicking that when I put them in the ground. So it's about a half inch, but you just wanna go to the top. Because like I said, they're gonna start bulbing out and they need that room in order to do that. You don't wanna put them too, too deep. Let's do it. So I have some of these where I have two seedlings in the cell because I started multiple seeds and then I didn't thin them. Onion roots are pretty easy to separate. What I do is I'm just going to crumble away. They're wiry and they're tough. They really don't mind this based on my research and a little bit of experience. And I'm just going to give them a shake and pull them out. And look at those nice, beautiful, white, healthy roots. So this one will go there. And this one I'm just going to drop, make sure all the roots get in the hole. And there you go. Now in this part of the video, the wind totally beat out my audio into the camera and you don't want to hear the wind blowing. So I'm coming in with a voiceover. As you can see, all of my onions are planted in the bed. So now I'm just gonna go in with a layer of Easy Straw. This is just gonna act as a nice mulch to help the soil retain moisture and also suppress any weeds that wanna come up. I don't expect any weeds in this bed because it is so tall, but if you are directly into the ground or have a shorter bed, this Easy Straw will also help against weed suppression. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this all throughout the bed, a nice thin layer, and then water it in. Once all of my straw is laid, I'm coming in with just a little bit of water to one, water my onions in, but also it's gonna help set this easy straw a little bit. So just a nice little mist all over the bed. This is basically how I'm planting my onions. So stick around, I will track their progress throughout the season and hopefully in a few months from now, I'll be able to harvest these and have a really big bulb onion. So stay tuned for more gardening content. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.